this is where we left off on the last video. We did this room with these three objects and using artificial light, we cast shadows on them. It's kind of busy, but um, I want to add something more to this, but it's getting kind of busy and I was running out of time. I try not to make these videos very long. Last one was kind of long. I'm trying to keep them you know, into the 10 minute arena. So I decided to do a, a different one because this one, again, I mean, there's a lot of lines going on. There's just one more point I wanted to make about the artificial light sources. So, um, and you know, there's so many other things we could talk about with light, um, different objects. I don't think we really didn't do spheres with artificial light or with positive or negative light, and they're kind of interesting. There's a lot of different shapes we could um, try to tackle with and light shadows falling on different kinds of forms, you know, having a cylinder cast a shadow on a sphere, all those things. Well, we could just keep going for a long time on just the shadows. And, you know, maybe a swing back around to shadows later on. But I think I want to move on from here and we'll um, get into three-point perspective. And there's quite a lot of things to talk about in three-point perspective. But before we leave these, I, I'm realizing that we just um, did shadows on um, the like a horizontal surface like this. And then this one, we did shadows on different faces. But all of these things are like touching the walls. Um, I wanted to show shadows of things on different planes. So we haven't done that yet, and that's that's kind of important. So I set up um, a light bulb and a couple steps with sticks on them. So these could be stairs or just just any tables with something on them. So first, um, I this is my light angle vanishing point. Of course, this is my light bulb, and this one. See, this this guy was in one point perspective, so we dropped this down, and the ground line was just straight across from it because it's one point perspective. And but this one, this light bulb is going back to this vanishing point, so this is in two point perspective. So when I drop a line straight down to the ground to get my ground line vanishing point, you do not want to go straight across like that. It's two point perspective, so I need to go this direction, and it's going to be there. This is my ground line vanishing point and this is my light angle vanishing point and let's just um do this this first let's do the box first and then we'll do this kind of quickly because we've done things like this before so here's um the ground line and then light angle And the, sh the shadow goes to this that vanishing point. Do another light angle from here. And then this goes to the other vanishing point. And so there's the shadow. Let's see, I wonder, like, will any of this box show up? Hmm. Okay, now it's a little more complicated. I'm gonna run a line along the floor and draw this like phantom view. Here's where it sits on the ground. So if I bring this straight down to the floor. Okay, so here's like flagpole all the way down to the ground. And then we draw ground line from that flagpole. And then a light angle from the top of the flagpole and oh wow look at that almost you almost see the shadow of this vertical line here it's right there so the rest of the shadow um you know then you would have the shadow of this horizontal line and that would just go to this left vanishing point so that's all we're seeing for this box is just this part the rest of the, the shadows are behind the box let's see this one yeah. Okay, so now we're onto these sticks. So this is setting up on a different plane than than this box is. So with with um, natural light, you have one 
brown line vanishing point always and it's just on the horizon line for everything but with artificial light you can have multiple ground line vanishing points so see that this box is on the ground so our ground line vanishing point is on the ground but the stick is on a higher level it's like another ground plane so this ground line vanishing point needs to be on the same plane as this stick is so the easy solution for that is just like with finding this we just kind of wrapped a line around boom and get an intersection so we're taking this along the floor and we're going to hit this box come straight up the box and here's the level that first level is right there and then take that and in this out here and now I get another ground line vanishing point that's on the same plane as the top of this box so the shadow of the stick goes this way let's see does it do you see the top of the stick down here on the ground to find that out there's a few ways to do this as with everything I'm going to just take this along this top of the box and then you just wrap it around the box. Now it's on the ground. So the ground, the shadow will now use the ground line vanishing point that's on the ground. Let's see if we go from the top of this stick and yep, yeah, you're going to see right there at the end of this, we give it some thickness. Okay, then the next one is the same thing, but it is on um, an even higher level than this one. So we take this and wrap it up to the top of this plane and bring it across here. And then we have a third ground line vanishing point. So this would be a ground line vanishing point for anything that's on a, a, a plane that is at this height. This goes along the top of the box like that. And let's see if we see this one on the ground. I don't think so. Drop it down to the ground. And then now it's on the ground. Now we use the ground line vanishing point that's on the ground plane. And then it goes along the floor until it hits the light angle and no no you're not seeing that so we're done so that um that's the end of shadows for a while we should move on we could swing back we've been doing shadows for a long time so we'll do do three point perspective we'll probably be doing three point perspective for a long time and there's also four point perspective and five points perspective and there's six point perspective but there is no seven point perspective okay onward <laughs>